In this video, we are going to discuss how we can rotate our images using the Pillow library. So right now on my screen, you can see I'm importing the image module from my Pillow library and I'm, all, uh, and I'm also opening up an image which is inside my resources folder named butterfly.jpg resources slash butterfly.jpg and then I'm storing that image inside a variable called img. So if I show you that image now, you can see this is the image that I'm working with. So now, what if we want to rotate this image? Let me show you. If we want to rotate this image by degrees of, let's say, 90, so how can we do that? So for that, we have a method inside our image module called image.rotate. So the way I can use it is I can say img equals img.rotate. And this rotate method will take many arguments and we are going to discuss them one by one. So the first argument is going to be the angle and angle is going to be the degrees by which we want to rotate our image. So let's say this is our, uh, let me comment it out first. Let me run the code. Let's say this is our image and we want to rotate it by the degrees of 90. How can I do that? So for that, we first need to understand the center of rotation of our image. So by default, the center of rotation of our image is going to be the center of image. So if this point is the center of our image, our image will be rotated about that point. So if I want to rotate my image by degrees of 90, my image will be rotated about that point to the degrees of 90. So if I close it up here and I uncomment this and say angle equals 90, run the code, you can see we have rotated our image by 90 degrees. But we are losing some information in this part of our image and this part of our image. So that's happening because by default, our program is not changing our canvas size. Our image has been rotated and the dimensions of our image will change, but our program is keeping our canvas size as default. So our image is adjusting itself inside that canvas only. So what if we want to expand our canvas according to our rotated image? We can do that by adding one more parameter called the expand. So let's say expand equals true. By default, it's set to false. Now we are setting it equal to true. If I run the code, you can see we have perfectly rotated our image without losing any information. So now let's say if I rotate my image by the degrees of 60, run the code. You can see we have these black areas. This is the background fill color. And what if we want to change this background fill color? There's one more parameter which is known as fill color. By default, it is set equal to black, but now we can change it to any other color. Let's say green. Run the code. You can see we have changed the fill color to green. Now there is one more parameter called the, let me open up the documentation, resample. So this is a parameter which uh, is used uh, if you don't if you are a beginner you won't be able to under grasp the idea behind what this parameter actually is doing but let me just give you a gist of it if you want your images to be of high quality after your uh, after you have rotated them what you can do is you can take this parameter reshape and set it equal to image dot by cubic all right so if you want quality then you should use this uh, reshape or resample sorry about that resample resample um, parameter so if you want high quality images after rotation then you should use this parameter but if you are editing thousands of pictures and uh, the speed is your priority then you should not use this resample parameter at all because by default this resample parameter is set equal to image dot nearest and this parameter by setting the resample parameter to image dot nearest you will get the maximum speed so if speed is your priority you can 
uh, ignore the resample parameter. So we also have one more parameter called the center. As I told you already that by default the center of rotation is set equal to the center of our image. But if you want to change that, you simply need to give coordinates of those that point. So let's say 100 comma 100. So if I run the code, you can see now our image looks weird because we have changed our center of rotation and now our center of rotation is set equal to 100 comma 100. So this parameter will let you change the center of your rotation. So this is it. This is how we can rotate images and this is all this uh, image dot rotate uh, method has to offer us. So we have discussed everything that uh, we can do with this method. So this is it for this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. I am all, all if you have any questions, you can comment down below. I am always ready to answer all your questions. If you want me to make some other kinds of videos, you can comment down below as well. So this is it for this video. See you in the next one. Peace out.